Hello everybody, I'm Vice and welcome back to PC Building Simulator 2. So in the last episode, we uh, played day one of our new computer shop. So let's get stuck in and see what day two holds. Here we are, so day two. Oh, well, we need to finish the day first, because, yeah. We got... And day, here we go. Good morning. Hope you slept well. You have a busy day ahead. You accepted a job yesterday and the customer's PC has arrived. It needs to be painted red, so take it to your workbench and let's get spraying. Okay, so here is our computer. I remember the controls for this now. Changing your workbench type. For this job, you will need to change and refit the workbench ready for case customization. Highlight the workbench and press B to change its type. Okay. So we need to change it to case modding. Okay, so this game's a lot more um, intricate than the, the first PC building simulator. Hopefully it's not too complicated for us, eh? <laughs> okay, so paint the case red. Left click to start working on it. Case modding. The customer has requested that the entire case be painted red. Select the spray can to start painting. So use the slider to increase the nozzle size and make it easier to spray the whole machine. Spray glass. The customer wants the glass sprayed too. So toggle the switch on. Hold left click to spray the paint. Cover both sides, the front and the top. She feels wrong. <laughs> Looks awful. <laughs> Are we doing a good job? Oh, he wants a glass then too, don't they? Oh, this looks absolutely awful. No accounting for taste. I like the color red, don't get me wrong, but this looks terrible. Definitely not convinced. Looks like a Corsair case. It's with 50% of the way there. Get a good bit of coverage on you. Okay. See if we can do a better job on the uh, other side panel than we did the uh, first one. Da -da -dee. We gotta go do a good job because they might not rate us very well if we don't. That will hurt our reputation. That's the thing. So yeah, coverage looks good. Oh wait, hard. Ah. Huh. I feel like we should have probably started with this one. Okay. Um, okay, we should have started with the hard one because that that worked a bit better. I, I don't know what the difference is between the two at this moment, but I guess we'll find out at some point. Nice work. All the sides are red and the job is complete. Now take the PC back to the delivery area and go to the customer's email to collect your payment. 
Okay. Oops. Um. Oh, exit out. Pick the PC up. And then. We need to go to the computer. Email. Uh, painted red. And so, labor $120, parts zero, toll $120, profit. Nice. Delivery received. Left, cl left click on the boxes in the hallway to unpack your delivery. The contents will be added to your inventory. What did we order? I can't remember. What did we order? A tablet. A tablet that will assist you in managing your business. You can read emails, shop, uh, run apps, etc. All while on the move. Okay, that seems handy. A present from Uncle Tim. Uncle Tim has sent you a brand new tablet to help you run the business. Let's take a look and see what it does. T for tablet. Your new tablet. Your new tablet is now ready to use. It's packed with apps, has a snazzy camera, and can be used on the move to manage your time more effectively. If you're not sure where to start, check out the pre-installed Decorator app. Decorator. Oh, so do we get to use the tablet to start decorating and like shopping for stuff for the store? Because it looks like there's two parts to this game. Do you have the um like the PC repair side of the shop and it looks like we can also open a storefront too, which is quite interesting. And Big Bob has agreed to redecorate your workshop for free. You can change the floor, ceiling, walls, posters, desks, and many other features. Let's see what's available. Floor detected. Oh, that's cool. I like that. So you can choose the different flooring types. Nice. <laughs> Linus Tech Tips. <laughs> I love it. Uh, yeah, I do enjoy that watching that channel. That's cool. Nice. AMD. Futuristic. Oh, we gotta go futuristic, haven't we? Nice. Look at that. So we've pointed the walls, the futuristic walls. Like this is very Star Trek here. I'm, I'm digging this. Are we allowed to? Ooh, space. Ah, oh, that looks awesome. Very Star Warsy. I love it. Nice. Medieval. Cool. Um, apocalyptic. Let's what his Linus Tech Tips wall looks like. Ah, oh, okay. Cool, cool. So I think we're going to go with Futuristic. Um, did he do it? Or do, do we have to go AMD? Yeah, we have to... It's making us choose AMD for some reason. I think. Or is he just saying AMD is new? Choose futuristic. Ah, cool. Okay, here we go. And then the ceiling, futuristic. So I'm guessing it's already futuristic. So apply to all. Ah, oh, yeah, the, the apply to all is probably just applied it to what we were currently looking at. That makes sense. I mean, it does make sense. Okay. Nice. Okay, so these are emails. Um. Fix. I'm so super stoked to see a new repair shop in town. Totally sucks what happened to the last one. I hope they catch the guy who did it. Anyway, the air cooler in my computer is busted and the whole thing is really uncool. See what he did there? Like literally uncool. I can feel the heat coming off it. Can you replace it for me? Hope you can help. Brody. Sure, why not Brody? Buying components. Some jobs require new, additional or replacement components. So let's order a new air cooler for this customer's PC. When buying components, be careful to only buy components which uh, are as good or better than those the customer wants or already has. Okay, so CPU cooling, filters. Uh, okay, that's cool. We can change the filters and to basket and assign. Oh, and assign to the job as well. That's, that's awesome. 
So you can assign, a, you can buy the parts to assign to a particular job. That's that's good. Task tracker. The task tracker allows you to allocate parts to specific jobs. This window can be brought up by interacting with the link icon in the checkout, delivery section, or inventory. So I'm going to assign it to that job. Nice. That's going to cost us $24 plus shipping, probably. Wow, same delay, de day delivery is $100. Okay, AMD Wraith Prison. New parts. Well done. You've ordered a new part. You can e use the calendar to check when any new parts will arrive and find them in a box in the hallway once they get there. Thank you for your order. Custom Cables. The Custom Cables app allows you to create your own unique set of cables using a range of different colors. You can mix and match colors as much as you wish and assign each set a name to help you identify and use it easily in your builds. Good to know, but we won't mess around with that just yet. Nice. Um... We've just added the following parts to our range, such as like a generic um, email from a supplier to say, look what you can buy now. So let's delete the, let's delete the emails, for the ones we've finished. I don't know if flagging them like that can delete all three. Unable to, oh, okay. So delete, delete, delete. Actually, that didn't take as long as I thought it would. Uh, delete, delete. That one's on the way. Leveled up. Congratulations, you've reached level two. You've unlocked all these parts. Awesome. Delete. <laughs> Rise and shine. It's work new workshop time. Big Bob's business barn has joined forces with Chip Champions AMD to bring you an exciting new workshop theme with sleek sci-fi looks. Open the decorator app on your tablet to check it out. Okay, we've already kind of done this, haven't we? <laughs> so let's uh Give that one a miss. The MSI workshop theme, nice. So I'm guessing they've got some sort of like offer in place or deal in place with the new, uh, with different manufacturers and being like, yeah, you know, if if you you know sign up with us, we'll we'll put your bits in the game. New LTT workshop just dropped. Uh, that does look quite good. And all new theme, apocalyptic. Right, so we have one email to worry about to work on. That's good. We can choose the wallpaper. Um, for your tablet. What are we gonna go with? Something sci fi, maybe? Because I like sci fi. Yeah, that'll work. Interplanetary Sanctuary. Cool. Okay, so that just sort of sits in the bottom there at all times. Nice. So here's our shop front. I mean, it doesn't look like we're gonna do anything with it yet. I, I really hope that we get to, because that, that would be quite cool to be able to, um, like, open up a, a store as well as just do the PC repairs. Look how awesome this looks. I love it. Can you imagine working in a PC repair shop that looks like this? It would be amazing, wouldn't it? Outside as well. Look how good the garden is. Nice blue skies. Okay, so we have $1,011 in our account. Let me to open my inventory. We can't do any jobs just yet because there's only one available. Art ranking. Okay, that's, that's good to know. Probably will come in handy that. Wormy. <laughs> that's game right know it. I mean, this can't be all of day two over already. Can it? What's this? Because we didn't... Is that our computer? Maybe we should just skip to this um, second day. There's tabs on the bottom as well. That's cool. Okay. So you can close that. Uh, oh, and it disappears on the bottom. Nice. It seems like, you know, it's... Oh, wait, it's half past six. Okay, guess we are going to go home for the day. But we'll go at the front door this time. End day. 
I'm guessing it was 18.30 p.m. or did I totally misread that? 18.31. It can't be 18.31. We've just... We've just left. There was an air duster on the shelf. Some old CDs or DVDs. I really hope we do get to uh, open like a storefront. That would be cool. I don't think it allowed us to end the day, did it? Or did I forget to... Ah, right, okay. It sort of rushed the shipment for me to do this straight away. That makes sense. Okay, yeah, I, I misread. It's my bad. I'm being stupid. So, pick up the PC. Place it on the bench. But, um... This needs to be build mode now, doesn't it? Place that on there. Left click to work on the PC. Replacing components. You have the new air cooler, so now you just need to exchange it with the old one. To begin, left click continue. Okay, remove the side panel. Hopefully we can get upgrades to make doing things like this a bit quicker. Hold the left click to remove the cable. Hold left click to remove the air cooler. Oop. Um, select to oh, yeah. clean the CPU. Very important when you're changing a cooler. Get all the old residue off there. Have a nice clean. There we go. Okay. Install um, jobs. Just left click to open this category. Tools. Thermal paste. That would help, wouldn't it? So we're going to put nice amount of thermal paste on there. Probably enough. Yeah, it says in the bottom there. You'll never be too careful. So, CPU cooling. And this one is already allocated to this job, so we know it's the right one. So I'm going to install there. Some components can be rotated when installing them. Hold left click to adjust the air cooler's orientation. I suppose we could have it that way up so that the AMD logo is the right way. Boom. Left click the cabling button to begin the cable. Well, begin to cable the CPU cooler to the motherboard. Click. Left click on the install button. Access your inventory. Move components. Here's our side panel. So. Install. Put the screws back in. Camera controls are pretty good, and this just takes a bit getting used to. Congratulations! Well done for successfully replacing the air cooler. Power up the PC and ensure it works before taking it to the delivery area. Okay. Cable. Plug everything in to make sure it all working properly. And power. DFL. Omega system. Oh, looks good to me. Shut it down properly. Nice. Listen, delivery area ready to go back. Nice and new. Ta da! On oh, email. We'll do this one on our tablet because it's fancy. Um, broken cooler, collect. So. Labor $170, parts budget $50, total $220, profit $196. Nice. So we delete that one. Um, much appreciation for the new case. It was exactly what I asked for. Unfortunately, it was also so perfectly matched to the red I had to use. I had used to paint the walls that I tripped over it and landed on my nose. <laughs> oh dear. But we were just really good at painting, weren't we? Uh, my next project will be about the interface between technology and pain. I'm really feeling this one. Peace, Cassandra. Okay, so we have another repair job and a customized job. So, hello. Thanks so much for assisting with my virus problem. The computer did indeed seem to run more smoothly after your uh, ministrations. However, I now find myself in the teeth of another difficulty. I have no idea what an SSD is. I wrongly assumed it to be a rather delicate medical issue. <laughs> but a uh, computer literate friend assures me that 
mine has broken and needs to be replaced. He has kindly allowed me use of his laptop to send this massive uh, missive, but I'm uh, leery of trying his patience too far. Could you see your way clear to replacing the relevant part for me as soon as possible? Yeah, sure. So we have a parts budget of $130. He wants a new SSD. So we need to have the same or better when it comes to doing these, apparently. So is his SSD? Yes, we have a 120 gigabyte SSD. So that's what we need to sort of look out for. So if we go to the shop and we want to go for storage, um, most of these are probably SSDs, but oh no, there's some mechanical drives in there too. Okay. Can we filter by type? We can. Oh, that's so good. So we got 128 gigabytes. So we're going to assign, add to basket, assign to job. So we're going to assign to this job, confirm. But can we come out of the shop app or minimize it? Go back into our email. Okay. What's up, mate? You good? I bought this PC for playing music at my house parties. Proper cool. We call him DJ Computer. Ha ha ha. Amazing. Amazing. DJ Computer in the house. Whoop whoop. <laughs> That's just ridiculous. Okay. Uh, can you paint the outside uh, case green so it contrasts with the sick red lights inside? But don't spray the glass because I want to see the bling. GSJ. Paint case green. Okay, it's $180, $20 for, you know, the past budget. Sure, why not? Why not? Do we need to um, buy green paint? I don't think we do. Um, no, I don't think we do. Oh. I'm not seeing anything by means of being able to buy stuff for the shop side of things so maybe that's not a thing just play the gpu at uh, gpu ssd and okay it's 1838 they won't arrive until tomorrow so cool so you can see uh, those two jobs arrive tomorrow and our hard drive delivery so now do we end day I feel like there's not a massive amount left to do. Oh, I wonder if you open up the shop app when you're in this part of the store. And then it changes? No. Okay. Maybe maybe this isn't a thing at all. But I just feel like um, pouring the, the shop out here, which looks like it could be fixed up, cleaned out and whatnot, is a bit of a tease. But maybe this is exactly how it's going to go. But we'll see. Okay, let's, uh, let's end day. I think it's allowed us this time. Should we day three? Yeah, not. But we're still on Thursday. We're still... Wait, Thursday. Did we skip a day? No, we don't. We did. No, nope, we're still on... Oh, wait, we are. We did that uh, end of the day. Wait, what is it? Oh, I'm dumb. The date is different. The year is wrong. However, the time, <laughs> the time is exactly what time it is now where I am. Why did I not notice that? <laughs> Why is it taking me this long to work that one out? I don't know. Don't judge. <laughs> okay, okay. Um, let's see if we've had the computers delivered. We should have. Which one are we going to do first? So this is the fixed one. Yeah, let's do this one first. Why not? Stick that on our bench. We'll grab the parts we had delivered. Add it to uh, inventory. Okay. Installing a new operating system. The customer needs you to replace a broken SSD, and this will also require the installation of a new operating system. Let's go. Remove the broken panel. So we need to rotate the PC. Um, Okay, remove the old, so remove the cables, remove the old SSD, install, storage. This is the one we assigned to this job. Click, and then we cable it back up with... Ooh. Connect it to the motherboard. Okay, we, could, we can put the side panel back on, can't we? But for tutorial purposes, it's going to make us uh, check it's working first. But we know it's working. Throwing a new hard drive in is quite easy, isn't it? 
Okay, open inventory. We're going to put the panel back on. So the remove components bit. I wonder if that's like components from we've removed from every computer that we've worked on or is just the one we're currently working on. That would be good to know. Left click on the install button to access your inventory. Tools, USB hard. Oh, this is to install the, asset, um, the operating system, isn't it? So let's power it up. Should run Windows setup now. Here we are, booting, writing to boot sector. That was a pretty really quick installation, wasn't it? New OS installed. You have successfully replaced the broken SSD and installed a new operating system. The PC can now be returned to the customer. So power off. Pick it up. Uh, oh, hang on, we need to exit that again. Then pick it up. I will get used to it, honest. Okay, so this one is done. And now we need to customize this one by painting it green, but not the glass. So we'll change this into a case modding bench. Stick it down, left click to work on it. And we want green. So we don't want to apply it to the glass, but we want everything else green. Go hard again. Because this just seems much easier. I'm painting the back. Doo -doo. How easy that is compared to doing the soft one. <laughs> Ta da! Paint case green. That was easy, wasn't it? So I'll plonk that down there. I'm going to email two people back to say their computers are ready. So. $170 labor, $130 parts budget, total $300, profit $210. Nice. And then the customize, collect. $180 labor, $20 parts budget, $200 profit. Nice. So, um, what do you want? Hi, my computer has been behaving very erratically for the past few weeks. I've had boot errors, freezing, blue screens, and other mysterious occurrences. We just hate it when that happens. I've, I've been through this myself recently. It was a pain to diagnose, but we got there in the end. The exorcist that I called in told me that... <laughs> okay, okay. The exorcist I called in told me that it's probably a faulty CPU and more likely to be your field than his. If this is the case, could you please replace the CPU for me? Hopefully the holy water hasn't compounded the damage, probably has. Leave it next to the radiator to dry. Thanks, M. Okay, so what do we currently have? CPU, we have a uh, AMD Ryzen 3 Quad Core 1300X. Okay, so we'll accept that and minimize that. We'll go into our shop and start our shopping. So here we go. So it's this CPU, we'll assign it to that job. Back into emails. Do you do upgrades? Only my best friend, well, second best, but it's a long story, just got a new GeForce GTX 970. And she's been going on and on about how great it is while I'm stuck with this whole thing. I wouldn't mind, but she does this every time she gets something new and it's so annoying. Like, okay, yes, we get it. You have more frames per second, but that doesn't make up for the fact your team still has to carry you through every game. <laughs> I love it. Have you not heard of playing the objective, Megan? Jesus. Anyway, I saved up my pocket money and did some garden work for my neighbors, and now I finally got enough for my own GeForce GTX 970. I'm not fast on what brand you use, but that or the shutter up for a while. Can you help? Ellie. Enforce, install a GeForce GTX 970 or better. So your parts budget is six and that's just a hell of a lot of garden work and work for the neighbors to save up $650. Upgrading parts. Many customers will ask you to upgrade components in their PCs. For most parts, you can do this by comparing details in the shop. But for graphics cards and processors, it's also worth checking the parts ranking app on your PC and tablet to make sure the part that you select has an equivalent or higher rating than the one requested. Okay. Um, so GTX 970 or better. So if you minimize that, go to part ranking, GTX 970 or better. So 
we can get an a 470. Maybe a Radeon 470. Yeah, if it's within the budget. They got $650, don't they? So if we go to graphics cards. Um, GTX. So it's a GTX 970. It's $265. We could get them the 470, which will be better for them. Uh, the Gaming X, Gaming 4G. So it's just got a less reram by the looks of it. So we could go for this one for them. Yeah, we'll, we'll get this one for them. Um, yeah. I feel confident about this. Bye now. Okay. And we've just added the following parts to our range. Thank you for letting me know. We've just added the following parts to our range. Thank you for letting me know. Okay. There's two jobs. We're ready to go. What's this? Absolutely nothing. Okay. And we're not far off from level three either, but the looks of it. So I wonder what we'll unlock at level three water cooler Dude, this has to be here for a reason oh wait I'll be patient and find out what it's actually for might be nothing but no PCs in storage oh, okay so you can store computers in, uh, in there that's quite handy to know different workbenches oh, I wonder if we can hire employees to work for us as well on upgrading computers maybe like none of this kind of stuff is in game but it's just like we have like our main workbench here for our, our actual PC setup. And we have a workbench here which you can change the um, what you can do with it. But then there's four other benches here which you can also change to do various things. So I do wonder if you can like maybe, I don't get ahead of myself here, but like employ, uh, hire employees to help out uh, in, your, in your shop. But we will see. We will see. I don't know if there's any benefit to waiting around. Like, will we have more emails and what come uh, come through as the day goes on, or do we just skip to the next day? Um, yeah, do I will skip to the next day and see what we'll, um, get started on these jobs. I feel like that's a good idea. Here we go. 1849 it is friday october 14th it's still lovely outside and if there's an option for like the time on the tablet to show like in-game time or doesn't look like that's a thing no that's not a thing that was worth a shot <laughs> okay email hope oh, we got emails uh Oh, okay. Literally what we were just talking about. Um, hello, I'm told you are newly available for computer hardware modifications. Oh no, it's not what we were just talking about. I thought there was like literally a guy um, offering to work in my shop. Should have read it first. My name is Professor Edmund Ville. Probably saying that wrong. You may not have heard of me, but not to worry, you will soon. ha 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 ha. That was terrible, sorry. I have recently been experimenting with the use of neural network AIs to infiltrate and take control of complex computer systems, like say, a satellite network, with very promising results. Doing so requires a large amount of computing power. I find GPUs work very well. Sadly, my computer, borrowed from a government agency, was never built to sustain this level of power and desperately needs an upgraded power supply. Assist me, and you will be spared when I ascend to the rank of Supreme Ruler of Earth. Fail me, and, well, let's just say I have a bathtub full of piranhas that I'd be glad to introduce you to. All the best, Professor Evil. Ah, Evil, that makes sense. Institute of Applied Villainy. Well, suppose we could do this for you, Professor Evil. And hey man, Gaza here, just saw some sick PC cases in a magazine. Do you think you can do me one in yellow? I'm all about that. Ah, uh, Don A. Here's man. So paint case yellow, do not customize glass. We could do that. Okay. 
let's get some of these jobs going. Do, 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 do. So we have our parts that have arrived. Nice. Put them away. Which one's first? Um, replace CPU. Okay. Let's go. That's an interesting looking case. Okay then. CPU. Let's open up the panel. Nice swivel door you have there. Uh, so you want to remove the cable. Remove the cooler. Open... Take out the old CPU. Don't need to clean any CPU paste off because we're replacing the entire thing. So, um, we've had this one for this job. So put that down. We want some uh, thermal paste. Here we go. Oh, we probably should click it in first, shouldn't we? There we are. Right, thermal paste. And that's sufficient thermal paste applied. What method do you guys go for when putting thermal paste on a computer? Whether it's in-game or in real life? Let me know. Okay, now we need to install the cooler again. So remove components. Arctic Freezer 7. Should be sufficient because we've replaced it like for like. And then we want to cable it up. There we go. And... PC can still boot to OS, which I'm sure it'll be able to, but we'll have to check it anyway. We're good at our job. We've definitely not forgotten to do anything. Okay. Power! Definitely looks like it's powering up to me. Looks good to me. Shut it down. Okay, that's one down. Next, upgrade. He's going to be happy with his graphics card, for sure. Alright, let's take the screws off. Remove the old GPU. Oh, we probably got to do this as well, haven't we? Yep. Yeah. Gonna take the old riser off. There we are. Old one out. Install. So we have GPUs. Wrong place. Graphics cards. Here's the new one. Look at that. Much better than the old one. That's for sure. Oh, so we're gonna have to take. Right, you're going to have to take one of these covers off as well because it's a dual slot graphics card. Makes sense. Look at that bad boy. Okay, install, remove components, PCI cover. Nope, we get to keep that because, yeah, can't put the cover back on, obviously. <laughs> because we'd be covering up that, but we do need to put the lock back on. go let's cable this bad boy up and we'll plug all this in just to make sure it operates boots into windows doesn't crash out or anything which it shouldn't do our oh, uh, and while that's uh, booting back let's put the side panel back on in case we forget with the rgbs in that nice wallpaper game over you want to change your wallpaper. Okay, so exit. Boop. Done. Just mark these off as complete. So, um, complete storefront. Yes, I knew that. I, I was hoping this would happen. You can now renovate the storefront, allowing you to build and sell your own PCs. Check your email for details. That's awesome. Um,. So 170 labor, 140 parts budget, total 310, profit 245. Nice. Select $170 labor, $650 parts budget, total 820, profit 535. Awesome. And that's in transit. That's in transit. Leveled up. So we've unlocked all these new parts. Well done and keep PC building. PC building simulator 2 team. PS, the next milestone, level four unlocks nothing. 
the Evalued Potential Client. We're excited to offer you a once in a lifetime opportunity to expand your working space and your business horizons. If you have recently come to our attention as a fast growing local business with an unused shop front that's just begging for a little renovation. For just $500, we will completely overhaul your shop front so that you can sell PCs as well as fixing them, opening up a whole new rain, uh, revenue stream. Best of all, we guarantee all work completed overnight. That's right, our team of hardworking engineers and overpaid consultants will work from dusk till dawn to have your new workspace ready the next day. Customer testimonials. I can't believe they were able to do all this in just eight hours. I gave them the keys and they unlocked the potential of my business. They overhauled my warehouse overnight and I didn't even hire them. Now that's efficiency. <laughs> I love that last review, it was awesome. This offer is only available for a short time, so act fast. Grow your biz because life's too short to wait. Yeah, why not? But we'll do it. Your new storefront. Congratulations, your storefront is due to be built. When you leave for the day, the builders will move in and have your new shop ready for tomorrow morning. We had the money to do it, so we're okay. Um, okay, and new PC parts available. Right then, everybody. That is a decent length episode there, so we're going to leave it there. And a bit of a cliffhanger find out tomorrow what our storefront's gonna look like and uh yes we shall see what new adventure awaits in the pc building simulator anyway everybody thank you for watching it's much appreciated if you did enjoy the video feel free to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel it would help me out massively and until next time goodbye for now